And now, insurance-minded speeches from GEICO. Hardship. My grandmother would go through it every month to pay her insurance bill. First, she would handwrite a paper check, in cursive. Then, using her own tongue, she would wet a stamp for an envelope. Today, however, we need not weary our hands and tongues. Today, we can pay our GEICO bill with the GEICO app. Away with hardship, in with bill pay on the GEICO app. Thank you. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio in high fidelity. Jimmy Mack is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who has taken, completed, and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was shown and developed a simpler way to create healing and profound changes, now known as My Liquid Fish. He works with clients in person, on the phone, and over Skype worldwide, accessing energetic powers and co-creating changes that you can actually feel. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 713-955-0594. Press 1 if you would like to ask Jimmy Mac a question. Enjoy this one hour of profound healing. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Mack coming to you live from Florida. Hope everybody's doing great. And if you have heat, I wish you rain. And if you have too much rain, I wish you better runoff and drainage. We're working on that in our neighborhood right now. So never a dull moment. Always progress. At the end of my show, I always say make progress every day. But you got to keep on doing. So we're glad you're here. Reach out anytime. Email us at info at jimmymachealing.com. Be glad to help you guys in any way we can. If you're not getting our weekly email as well, that's every Wednesday. Uh, that goes out, and it's free, and it's got in there a bunch of audios and videos and a lot of different things that can only help and contribute to you. So we're glad everybody's here, and we want to keep it all stirred up. A little bit about our schedule coming up, too. Um, Today, we are scheduled with Michelle Bowen. She's a healer and intuitive, uh, May 9th, of course, and she's out of Australia. So it's already Wednesday there, about 3 in the morning. So hoping and praying she's up and going to be on with us. Uh, Next week, you have Kim Camilla. She's a psychic and astrologer, and that's May 16th. On the 17th, we're going to be on with Charlotte Spicer, of course. And that's uh, the Intuitive Insights show. And coming up after that will be May 23rd, and that's Sandra Sullivan. She's also an intuitive reader. And then finally, the last Tuesday of the month is May 30th. It's Debbie Dean Sphere, and she's our trans medium. She's on every last Tuesday of the month with us, and we love having her on because it's communication with uh, loved ones on the other side, and what a dream that show always is. She really helps us out, and we'll talk to your loved ones that are on the other side. Quite interesting. So a lot of good stuff coming up. We also are in the final throes of completing uh, a completion for those that want to do My Liquid Fish, my particular form of healing, and Also, a practitioner certification program. We're putting the final touches on that. We actually have a nice little book. It's about 45 pages long. Uh, This has been just years in the making, folks, before we could get it right, and we want to make sure it's right. So we're meeting with some folks uh, even tomorrow, uh, a bunch of the fine people that work with me to put all the finishing touches on that. It's going to be reasonable. It's going to be great. And... uh, you know, it's all good. So those of you who might be interested one day in doing that and learning my liquid fish and at least having the certificate of completion, uh, you're welcome to reach out again, info at jimmymachealing.com. 
if you're already a practitioner in the healing arts of any kind, whether you're an intuitive or acupuncturist, massage therapist, physician, whatever it may be, you can also uh, go with that as well. So you can email me again, info at jimmymachealing.com. So we're going to uh, at least chitty chat today and talk about a bunch of different things. we got Mother's Day coming up, brought to you by Hallmark, of course. For those of you that love your mother and think she's the best thing ever or not, it's okay because I still look at it as goddess energy and mother energy. And if you're hearing the sound of my voice at some point, then you, know, you were born by a mother somewhere. So it's all good. Uh, Reverend Tiffany, are you there? Yes, Jimmy. Hello. I am here. And hello, everyone. Good. Yes. Good to talk to you, love. And Reverend Tiffany uh, handles the executive production of the show. So we're thrilled to have her on uh, live as well. And she handles how many folks do we have now in the Goldilocks network and your deal? It's got to be a dozen, 15 anyway, right? Oh, yes, yes. We have 15 and we've got three more. That I'm oh, talking wow. with and the talks that want to start, yes. And we have one starting at oh. the end of the month, too. So it's growing oh, wow. by leaps and bounds. <laughs> it really is, yes. girl. If you're, you're going to give up sleep for this is over with, right? What sleep? It's a little bit much. <laughs> what sleep? What is sleep? <laughs> oh, you do a little bit of everything I know. And, uh, husband and children and healing and a little bit of all of it. So it's kind of interesting. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm happy to talk to you live, too. And any special plans, anything coming up for Mother's Day and all that for you? Um, I'm not sure. I know that that, that my sons are planning something, you know, with my husband and they're hush-hush. But um, I do um, run a, run a, a, a new-age spiritual type of shop with, with my best friend. And both of our mothers are on the other side. And so we're going to go be at the shop until four um, so that Mm -hmm. we can just be there for anyone that wants to come in and have some healing and some messages and and things like that. Um, And, and we'll just enjoy each other's company and then our mothers in spirit because our mothers support us and they're there. I mean, they're with you everywhere, but we really feel them at the shop. And so we thought we would sit down and have some, have a tea party with our mothers, have a tea party with our mothers, and then go home and celebrate with our families. Yeah, very cool. So, well, we're and happy it's, uh, and for it's that like, as well. And, oh, yeah. And it's like you said, it, it's that feminine energy, the goddess energy. And it's uh, so very strong. And the, the new moon, I mean, not the moon, the full moon is Wednesday, is tomorrow. And we'll still be feeling wow. its effects on Sunday. So. It's a lot of beautiful yeah. feminine energies coming in at this time. And it's and it's not that when we say feminine energies, it's feminist in any way, shape, or form. It's just rising that feminine that has been pushed down and suppressed in society for so long, bringing it back mm-hmm. to balance with that masculine energy. So just let the callers listen so they don't think, you know, what are they talking about? <laughs> right. <clears throat> Well, no, I figure, too, you know, anybody that ever hears the sound of our voices or anything else, I mean, you were born uh, your mother, and whether you have a great relationship with her or you're distant or you never knew her, you know, you still, it's a, it's a tremendous time to at least pause and thankful for that feminine energy and, uh, you know, like I say, it's more goddess energy than anything else, so very cool, so, all right. Well, let's take a caller and see if we can get stirred up. 415, uh, you're on line one. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Jessica, New Jersey. Hey, Jessica. What's going on? Do you um, have a question for Tiffany or myself? Um, sure. I'm not sure if you could help with this, but I think maybe you can. <laughs> um, I'm having, I had a little situation on Friday with this guy that I was supposed to work for him and then he canceled it when I was already at the event and uh, he just paid me for one hour of work, but he really owes me for four hours total. So we had some sort of words go back and forth through text and email and 
let's just say I didn't act the most spiritual. I think I got like a little emotional with it rather than just calling him and taking care of it. Um, sure. And I want to resolve things now. And I called him and uh, just left a message. So I just want to feel like 100% confident that he'll call me back, resolve this and pay me, realize that he was taking out personal stuff on me. Um, mm. And I'm not feeling 100% confident in that yeah in um, that sure yeah yeah i'm not either and you know day of the show that's a bit much so um you know what i mean to cancel on you that's like ew, right because you're already well i was already time. there and the reason why he canceled was like errors that he made so oh, wow um yeah and it's just uh he had made errors earlier and he ended up paying those people full pay so somehow I think I got him <laughs> at a bad time, and yeah, but he's just, I, he's not acting in integrity, and um, spirit keeps saying he'll pay you, he'll pay you, but his actions don't show that, and I like I said, I just don't feel a hundred percent confident with it. Like he, I think he's just trying to avoid me at this point. Yeah, yeah, no, that doesn't test well either. So, um. Know, for me either but why don't you stand up let's rock it out you know when spirit tells okay. you he'll pay you he'll pay you it might also mean that you know spirit will pay you back like tenfold too so i don't know that he might pay you i think he might be on the fence on that but if you face due north um just go ahead and what do you go by any nicknames at all um yeah let's just say the letter b how about we b. do that okay there you yeah. go so if you go by the letter B, that's fine. So if you're staying there facing due north, it's going to pull you forward for yes and push you backwards for no. So you can just say, my name is B. My name is B. Mm -hmm. I think I got a no forward. with that. But yeah. uh, I am. Yeah. You go by. yeah, Spirit's not calling you that either. But as long as you're getting the pulls, you get what I'm saying. So it's okay. okay. Let's just say, let's go. Let's run with this. Let's jump right at it and just say, uh, I'll say it for you. Tell me if you go forward, back, or in between. Believe, think, know, and feel. Ready, willing, and able. Know when, where, how, and why that he will pay me in full. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no. So I'm going to change that to yes in the hopes that he will. I'm going to change it right now. It's going to drift Thank you Thank you. I'm going forward back. now, actually. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And that's just us putting strength into that. And I don't get that he's going to pay you either. I don't know what he's hung up on or what his problem is. Like you said, it feels like the words that come through, and they're never my own, would be lashing out. It's like he's lashing out at you. He made these mistakes in scheduling and, you know, maybe times and printing and events and in the middle of Mercury retrograde. What a shock, right? Um, mm -hmm. But that's pretty much on him. So, you know, he may or may not pay. If he doesn't, we have to look at it as, kind of left and learned and I certainly if I'm going to be down for four hours or somebody and I don't know them they're going to prepay me or at least half down something like that so maybe in the future yeah. for somebody like this you know you, you're going I to wouldn't gonna normally do it it was just this sort of temp work that I'm I was I'm closing out and that's how the industry works that you work and then you get paid yeah. but also they cancel on you when you're there it's industry standard that you get paid for the four hours. So, um, so that, that's, that's an easy that way to say that. To Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I, that's an easy way. Everything you just said to me is I want to take all the angst out of it. And everything you just said to me, that's the way I want to present it to him. So when you speak with him, hey, industry standard is this. And it's just very matter of fact. Okay. Do you see me getting on the phone with him, actually? Um, as of right now, it tests no. I'd be okay if he just paid us and went away at this point. Um, it doesn't test well. If you say that right now, uh, I see myself getting on the phone with him. It's going to pull you back to no. And I'm going to change it to yes. You'll feel the drift forward. Yeah, I do feel that. There you go. And you know what? <clears throat> if not him, something bigger and better. You know, I always say the best that they can be or better. So you want the best he can be and get paid for this deal or 
you know, if it's something you're fading out anyway, um, you know, then you're okay with all of this kind of fading out. You're going to go into some different type of line of work anyway. How do you suggest I deal with the anger here? Because I want to sort of mm -hmm. then go give them a review online or, you know, sort of the, the mm -hmm. urge is to like sort of lash out in a way. But I'm well, I would, I would, I would, yeah, I would hold back on lashing out until I'd exhausted uh, my dear Jewish friend in South Florida would tell you, sweetie, get the money. So, you know, if you don't get the money, then I would understand if you wrote a, a poor review, right? Uh, but let's can I let's hold here? back from that and not lack them. Can, can I that? add to this, Jimmy? Too, please? Can I add to this, uh, Jessica? Uh, to deal with the anger is uh, to deal with the. There's very and it does really work. It's the whole Hawaiian hope and no no. I, I hope I say that right. But sit down, yeah. think of his name, think of his being, and say, "I'm sorry. I forgive you." and I love you. This is to his energy. This is not what you're saying you're going to write to him. But because just, you know, I forgive our conversation because you both were kind of raw. And just know that there's something about you and your energy that triggers and mirrors him. So you getting on the phone with him, it's just going to, he just, here's your name, here's your voice. And he's already just just gone. So there's really no communicating with him like that. So take it to the higher energetic levels and just say, hey, you know what, I forgive you. I'm going to step away from this. And know, though, that if he doesn't pay you, the universe will have that money coming in um, from a different source. But you will be yeah. um, reimbursed for that. I've actually been saying that, that Hope Ono, whatever that thing is called, for mm -hmm. several it's, takes. It's, oh, it's oh, oh, Ono Pono, yeah. Hope oh, Pono, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I never say it right. So I've been saying that for a couple of days, and I've been affirming, like, I'm going to get paid, you know, from somewhere else if he doesn't pay me and this and that. But I still feel the er like, it, it's interesting that you said that, like, I, I sort of trigger him, the name and stuff, because I definitely do feel that. And... Yeah. I don't want to keep sort of uh, pursuing because I know that that he goes in retreat. So right. I sort of like, left him a message and I don't know, like if I wait a couple days and then I text him like, Hey, I'm still waiting for payment or something like, what is this sort of game plan? Because I really yeah, do. I, I, get, I, I get that as a game plan. And when I ask spirit, it's about 72 hours from now, I'd kind of let it go from now for now. Uh, Stand, you know, stand up, face due north. You don't have anger about it, by the way. You have resentment. So that's really what it is. So when you think of him and the energy of him, it's I feel resentful, and it's going to pull you forward for yes. Oh, okay. And I want to release it, resolve it, <laughs> delete it, erase it. Yeah, I'm disentangling yeah. it all out now for you. It's going to pull you back when it leaves, and that'll feel better, too. Mm. Yeah, thank you for doing some healing work around go. that because of course. it's very uncomfortable. Of course. Yeah, and it would be for anybody, honey. And I have what my mother calls a terribly wealthy client out of New York, and she always says, this or better, honey, this or better. So if we don't get right. money from him, it's like we want better, bigger money from a you know much more reliable source that's more long-term and not so spotty and going to be so flaky and you know that sort of thing. Because like, who wants to work with this dude again? There's been plenty of... Over the decades, there's been plenty of clients I fired. They may not even know they're fired, but I wouldn't deal with them. If they sent me money, I would send it back, you know? And there's some people right. love yeah, that. Yeah, I definitely. You no, know, it's just not yeah, worth not it in this world, this you know? Again, but I just yeah. wanted to get money. It was just sort of like, uh-uh, no one gets one over me, that type of thing. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so, and, but just I know mean, that here, he's not going to. Yeah, he's long term. He's not gonna. It's like spirit will make it up to you if you lost five hundred dollars. Spirit will send you five thousand. That's the attitude to keep some other direction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that help, love? All right. Thank you very much. Yes. It, it yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Just to release it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. I'll you keep bet. listening. Okay. You bet. Thanks Thank for you. calling. Thanks, love. You okay. bet. All right. Bye bye. All right. All right. So hopefully, Tiffany, we have Michelle on now.
Um, good morning. Yeah, just, hey, good morning. How are you, love? I should say good afternoon. Hello. It's good morning for you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a little after 2 a.m. here in Oz. Okay, so now we know. What a dream. Well, thanks for being on today. We're happy to talk to you live, and we appreciate you uh, getting up for this. That's fantastic. Oh, I just didn't really go to bed. Didn't seem worth it. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> even better. I love it. I yeah. love it. Bit of a night owl, bit of a night owl. Full moon, everybody's well, brains are okay. keeping me awake anyway. Yeah, I love that. Hey, tell folks a little bit about you, love, and I know you um, have a new website too. Let folks know how to get a hold of you, and you've done obviously intuitive work, some theta healing, a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, I've been doing theta healing for a little over 12 years. Uh mm -hmm. Uh, uh certified in several kinds of kinesiology. I'm a Reiki master. Uh, I do my own crystal workshops. I've written trauma workshops and various healing workshops. I've recently certified okay. in access bars. And I'm currently doing my teaching certifications for permaculture, which is Total Sustainable Living System. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. You see little cool. Yeah, you're doing uh, a little bit of everything. I'm an Aquarian. We just have to. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, you know, it's like the water bearer sign of genius, right? They always got something going on. Of course, they question everything, too, and a lot of them are up in their head. But I'm sure you got the cure after 10-plus years of theta healing. You're not too much in your head anymore. You're more into creator so that's a dreamy place to be right yeah i i was really blessed with that connection from birth uh i was born into a psychic and healing family both my grandmothers were psychics my maternal grandfather was a marvelous healer my grandparents on my mother's side are from scotland and i have a mixed heritage on my father's side and um from my earliest memory I just had a constant conversation with creator uh, with cells with biosystems with all sorts of living things around me and until I went to school I thought everybody did that <laughs> right? when, I, when I went to school I thought oh well maybe not maybe um, not you're the only one maybe love. not <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, school was an interesting experience. I very much felt kind of on the outside of things a lot of the time. Um, and uh, I didn't always fit in, but I had a very interesting childhood watching the way that other people's brains worked. Mm. Uh, I spend, spend um, or invest a lot of my time listening to people's minds, I guess. Not that I ask to. They just kind right. of throw throw their stuff at me. But um, I, I realized something over uh, a lot of years of that type of connection is that uh, a lot of people, I guess, have to learn to develop their gifts. Uh, because in various ways we're blocked from birth. You know, the soul comes in, yay, I'm going to have this new journey, I'm going to resolve all this stuff this lifetime. And they're born as little helpless babies and then they get lots of layers and blocks. I didn't mm -hmm. have that, so I was really blessed in that way. And um, I, I have realised that I have... Um, some difference in the way I connect because I, I watch a lot of um, other psychics or healers and how they connect into consciousness. In theta healing, they teach you how to gently go down through the crown to connect. Well, I've yeah. always just flowed through. It's, it's not like, I oh, I'm going to pop in there. Um, I flow through all their stuff flows through me. So... Um, I guess it's a really easy connection. I I truly believe that's the way we're all meant to communicate and connect. 
and that the Love human it. race is gradually waking up, gradually waking up. A lot of people are very, very puzzled by what they're experiencing at the moment because as each consciousness awakes, it communicates with the consciousness of other people and and they're pulled into a higher vibration as well. But it's not always easy for them because mm-hmm. there are so many blocks and limitations and and layers and layers and layers of stuff over many generations built into our DNA that affect us as well. And that's what I work with a lot. I find it very yeah. easy to... Yeah. Um, go down the wormhole of time in whatever is going on for the person and find the origin and, hey, let's undo this from here. And it does. It just undoes. Love it. Love it. Hey, tell tell folks about your new website. Give them that address, and then we're going to take the next caller, love. Of course. So my new website address is ariasrainbowretreat.earth. Arias is A-R-I-A-S. Uh, Rainbow Retreat dot uh, and it's a website dedicated to the totality of what I do and it's about a retreat dedicated to my little granddaughter that we lost to SMA a couple of years ago and oh, wow. uh, if people yeah if people would like to look that up and I can be found as Michelle Bowen Psychic on Facebook and uh, I'd love to hear from people. I really would. And I've had a lovely time talking to you today. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we're going to take the next caller here. I'll let you go first and see what uh, we can stir up, and then I'll see if I can help them as well, okay? Okay. Awesome. 904. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Panhandle of Florida, somewhere up there. Hi, this is uh, Judy. I'm actually calling from um, Northeast Florida, Jacksonville, St. Hey, Augustine Judy. area. Yeah. How are you today? What's going on? You have a question for Michelle? Well, yeah, uh, I called a couple of weeks ago, and you know, I'm going through a move, and I'm really anxious, and um, you know, just having like palpitations, just not feeling very well, and and I uh, just kind of wanted to get a little comfort, and uh, I do want to let you know, Jimmy, that I. I bought the book, The Tackle Box, and I'm, I'm kind of learning how to fish. <laughs> oh, good. To anyway. but, so, yeah. Um, but I help just need, uh, I need a little help and guidance. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first thing I get for you, honey, I'm not familiar with the publication you're talking about, but I'm going to look it up now. <laughs> um, you're very low in minerals. Uh, your mineral absorption isn't really great at the moment. And... Um, the the higher your anxiety becomes, the uh, the less you're absorbing. So I I think um, a mineral supplement with the the smallest nanobacters that you can source would really benefit you at this time. There is some ancestral stuff around you that I can see about relocating. Now you said you're moving, yeah. Right, currently in in the middle of a move, not necessarily want to, but you know, could be a good thing. I'm trying to be positive about it. Yeah, so there's, I just feel a lot of fear around um, new stuff, relocating the unknown, stuff like that, and um, it, it's it's pulling your anxiety higher, and. Um, I really feel that the move will be really positive for you. It's about getting past that hiccup of what the heck's going to happen, I guess. Um, there is ancestral stuff there. Now, what's your heritage? Where? What is your cultural origins? Okay, my um, Swedish, English, uh, and you know the north, the north Euro- northern European. Okay, so a, a whole yeah, so a whole meld of of uh, racial origins there, and um, I'm being pulled back, and there there seems to be a real necessity to relocate to the United States. 
uh, at the time when your ancestors have done this, but it's through probation. Do you know anything about when your ancestors came here? Uh, some of them in the late 1800s and, and very early 1900s. 1900s. Mm. A, a lot of people relocated because they they felt it was their only chance for a, a good life, I think. But I, I can imagine that w that would have been absolutely tremendous at that time. So can I... Can I just go in and look for you and find if we can resolve the ancestral stuff? It, it's singing around in your DNA at the moment. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Look forward to it. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a lot of fear of the unknown coming up. And... Um, I can feel them on a ship. It doesn't feel like a very safe ship, actually. So can we just go back to that time, teach you through your ancestral line um, how to live without that fear of the unknown in relocating? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Okay. So teaching the the subconscious and bridging it to the consciousness with that permission can uh, can resolve some really big things. Mm -hmm. And the teaching of feelings is really important because it's it's a first step to um, being able to totally resolve something. Okay. Okay. So feeling that energy go back through there and come forward to you now. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, if you imagine yourself going to this new place, where do you feel your uh, fear level is at the moment? Um, well, you know, I don't think it's like overwhelming because I kind of know the area. It's just the, the trauma of moving because I've been in the same house for you know, 27 years and just the whole moving thing, you know. Um, yeah, it's a really big thing. I've had to relocate a couple of times and that's actually been through house fires, so the choice was taken away. I've lost two or three homes to fire. Um, one, very early, and um, then two houses that I built. And uh, so I actually understand that tie to your home so can we I'm oh, just looking for you can we teach your consciousness what it feels like to lovingly release the home that you're in now is that okay yeah yeah that'd be good thanks cool and that you're safe and worthy and that you're capable of doing this and teach you how to have uh, joy of expectation in this relocation. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's a lot more light coming in around your heart space now. Oh, good, good. Yeah, because there was definitely a lot of heaviness there. In um, in that actual looking at the transition, I was watching you go from where you are now to the new place. There's a lot of nice, fresh energy where you're going. It's it's kind of a grief in leaving where you are now. So can we just release the grief and teach you on all levels of whom you are, what it feels like to be able to let that go with grace and ease and um, bring this beautiful, fresh energy that I feel around that move into your current experience. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Beautiful. Hmm. So can we teach you what joy feels like? Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really good. <laughs> that'd be really good because I don't see a lot of that around you. Okay, so incoming again.
Uh, and I guess it's kind of hard to understand how I work if you're not with yeah. me, but um, I get to see the energy come in and I get to see what's going on in your system, similar to what Jimmy does and he feels it too, and you feel the the experience that's going on in your cell. So how, how does your heart space feel at the moment? I think it feels it feels okay. I mean, I'm not like overjoyed, but I I feel a little calmness now in the area, more calmness. Yeah. So can we um give you uh source creators knowledge and feeling and understanding and perception and align you with that with the the highest vibration of that of experiencing joy? and calm and peace and serenity through all of your cells and all levels of your being all of the time. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. You're not sleeping real well at the moment. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of waking up in the night, you know. And, of course, the full moon doesn't help either, so. Right. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah, um, always wake on the full moon. And you're on then, right? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of um, awareness of change in this moon, too. Um, I put up a post about it uh, last night. It's. It's um, there's a lot of resolution in it for people that I can feel, but it, there's also a lot of fear of what the heck is this? What am I moving into? But if we can just go in, can I go into your endocrine system and yeah. just allow it to realign to its um, highest optimum function? with calm and grace and ease just to help you through this period at the moment because your adrenals aren't shutting off properly when they're meant to they're meant to go in a calm state to allow you to sleep so is it okay if we just teach them that it's okay to do that and to just realign your endocrine system to a, a more peaceful state and that it it um, works in alignment with your body clock a lot better. Is that okay? That'd, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful. And that you're safe to sleep. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And we've got another caller after that too, so... We'll wrap it up here oh. for her. Yeah. yeah. So what do you what do you feel around this, Jimmy? Because um, yeah, I feel a lot of uncertainty about that. Uh, a lot of times, uh, I like Cam Ewan stuff. He would say that you know when you have different pains throughout your body, it's also it has an odd feeling of uncertainty about it. So <clears throat> that's how it feels right now for her. Uh, if you want to just stand mm-hmm. up, we'll just fish it out, girl, and change it. Okay. We'll do that Be too, good. you know. Yeah, the two okay. Michelle and I could go all day on you or anybody, you know that. So yeah. um, let's I've never make it safe. Never done it before either. Yeah, if you just stand up, face due north, and we'll just say it's I'm safe gonna... and comfortable to re- to release this home and to move to the new home, and just see if you go forward, back, or in between. And for people who use a pendulum, we have them test with pendulum. And see if you go forward, back, or in between on that. <clears throat> I'm kind of like, kind of in between. I'm not going forward or between. backward. That's all right. I'm going to change it real fast to yes for you. Okay. You'll feel it drift okay. forward to yes. Okay. Yep. Now I feel it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah they, awesome. Yep. And all I'm doing is doing the fish, of course. Yeah, for my liquid fish. Yeah. That's all I'm doing is doing that little hand movement. Yeah, and if you read over that love and read the tackle box, you'll you'll figure it out in a hurry, and I'll be glad to have a session with you one day. We could even Skype where you'll really get 
how exactly to fish, and we'll have it all go that much faster, okay? Oh, wonderful. Thank you awesome. both. Thank you, Michelle, hey, all the way for setting up. Thanks for calling and, in. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got a lot of a lot of great work there done. That's just amazingly exciting. So I love it. I saw you. Enjoy your move. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Right. Thanks Bye-bye. for calling, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Four four three is our next caller. Hi. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Kathy from Maryland. Hey, Kathy from Maryland. How are you? You have a question for Michelle, something we can work on for you, love? Yes. um, I have this fear about retiring, um, not having enough money. Wow, that's a common one for people, too, at the moment. And and, and your your country, because I'm in Australia, of course, Um, Uh there's there's such a sense of uncertainty in your country at the moment and that's the first thing that I feel come up because you've had these huge changes as well and what's going on with your leadership etc oh gosh that's heavy that's so heavy Mm. so um gosh there's so much around that heck you poor baby (laughs) <laughs> so how old are you, darling? <laughs> it is. It's just like, oh wow, there's a lot of turmoil there. Um, it it feels old? like you're being pushed, pushed and pulled. Like, yeah. If I may ask, you don't have to answer. No, I can tell you, I'm uh, 63. Oh gosh, you don't sound 63. <laughs> I don't feel it. <laughs> No, that's probably one of the reasons you're not real willing to retire, right? Uh, um, uh, Look, I feel a lot of promise around your retirement that you'll actually be able to move into being you. You'll find parts of you that you've not had time to address through your working life. Mm-hmm. So I hope that gives you some some comfort in what you're doing. I actually feel that it will be positive for you. Um, the Your main thing that I feel going on, I'm sure Jimmy will agree, it's, it's um, the, the question of having enough money to retire on is mainly due to... Um, that's more deeply buried fears, and that feels inherited. Mm-hmm. That lack of scarcity, yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely there. So, um, but I, I, I really do... F- <laughs> Go to work, Jimmy. Nice and fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just how it shows up. But yeah, if you want to want to stand up love face due north we'll rock it out okay. for you yeah so let's just make the statement it's safe and comfortable to retire and see if you go forward back or in between you you can ride this thing out a couple more years i think you're just sick of it does that make sense yeah i'm sick of it okay that's what it really is then yeah so i would even just give you things like uh you know there's always going to be more than enough for me and see if you go forward back or in between Forward. Forward. So deep down, you know that. I think, like uh, Michelle said early on, it's on point, is you're getting caught up into the fear-mongering of politics and will there be health care, will there be enough money, that sort of thing. But certainly Mm -hmm. spirit feels like pulling you forward that there will be enough. Um, And when I ask spirit, it isn't believe, think, no, it's feel. You feel uh, this lack or this scarcity. So... If you make that, I'll make that statement right now. It's going to be a feeling of lack or scarcity. It's going to pull you forward for yes. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. we're just going to going to release all that to no. And all I'm going to do is fish it all out right now. It'll pull you straight back when it leaves. You'll feel the wave. Mhm. How about my fear of where I'm going to live? You know where I'm going to move yeah. to. That's fine, too. Just own it. Say it right now. See if you go forward, back, or in between. I'm afraid of, you know, where I'm going to move to. 
Uh, definitely. Forward. So let's release it, resolve it, delete it, erase it, disentangle it, say whatever words you want to say or nothing at all. And I'm just fishing it all out for you now. It's going to pull you straight back when it leaves. Okay. Love it. And that's bound to help you Done. too. And we're just going to okay. give you little things like, yes, yeah, safe and comfortable just to be yourself. And to know that uh, every little thing's going to be all right. That's the opening of every one of my shows. Every little thing's going to be all right. It's going to pull you forward hard to yes when it comes in. Yep. And it'll bring you back to neutral once that's done. Okay. Done. Off. Awesome. Makes sense. Yeah, yes. so I just think you're kind of you're at the tail end of this whole thing, and you're kind of uh, you just like one out, you know. I so, do, I do. Yeah. yeah, when can you retire? I mean, you could retire anytime you want, but I'm saying winter. You, you really need to look at the optimal times that you can retire. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, whatever the maximized amount of time or money is, if it's another year or two, ride this thing out. So. It's up to you, but I'm just saying. I know, you know. I know. So I think you know that deep down. You're just kind of sick of it all, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I'm just trying to see what's going to go on here at work, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah, <clears throat> right. There's a lot of, but, lot of change. Know, a lot of changes, yeah. But those are things none of which you could control, but you're – being smart by stepping back and observing it all and then you know just always remember it's chess not checkers so these aren't slam mm-hmm. a bam moves you're gonna you know really have calculated little moves and kind of my friend's joke always is they're never going to put on your tombstone if only i'd spent more time at the office right listen and if you peeled over tomorrow they go oh that's horrible who we got who we got on deck to come in tomorrow to take her place right but, so, but this thing about would, but this thing this thing about money did is is it mm-hmm. ancestry? Yeah. Well, I mean that's part of it, the ancestry piece. Uh, mom, so it's more on your dad's side, by the way. Um, mm-hmm. Like saving, and you know, uh, there's an awful lot of scarcity, and as if there'll never be enough, kind of thing. Like if he had a quadrillion dollars, he'd st- if he had a million dollars, he'd say, well, it's not two million. You know, he's mm-hmm. that guy. So, um, and I think it you works. kinda got bit by that bug too. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just see stuff around um in like having to work hard to have money. Yeah. Nothing's easy. Like, yeah. That's really, really strong. Mhm. That was him. He was a very hard worker. Yeah. Well, you'll see. You you'll have that too if you just say that right now. Uh, I have to work hard for money. It's going to pull you forward for yes. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to release it. It'll pull you straight back when it leaves. Okay. And there you go. And let's just make work easy, breezy, fun. That's going to pull you back to no right now. And I'm going to change it all to yes for you. And then it'll bring you back to neutral once it's done. Done. Beautiful. Makes sense? Thanks. So, yeah, thanks. you know, time you want to figure out how to work on yourself, that sort of thing, you reach out to me, info at jimmymachealing.com or Michelle or whomever. Uh, we'll be glad to help you and contribute to you on that. Long term, you want to be able to work on yourself, definitely. You know, it's the old okay. adage somebody always says, you know, you feed a man a fish, eats for the day, you teach him how to fish, he eats for a lifetime. And that's my thing is myliquidfish.com. So you can go to that or find me at the website or email me, you know, Jimmy Mac Healing. And we'll be glad great. to help you. We can love, okay? Great. Thank you. Have a great day. Awesome. You too. Thanks for calling in. Hey, we got a bunch of folks. Yeah, we got a bunch of folks in listen mode. You're going to want to press one if you want to get in on this. And uh, 
gosh, get some free healings and some messages from spirit. So press one now if you'd like to raise your hand from wherever you might be. Uh, Michelle, I'm so glad you stayed up. I was going to say you set the alarm and got up, but you actually stayed up. So that's that's uh, I did. A pretty being on. I love it. Tell folks again how to get a hold of you, the new website, and also on Facebook. In case you want a reading, folks, um, you know, we can all go pretty deep in all this, and there's always something to work on. But give them the new website and also Facebook. Okay, so the new website is Aria's Rainbow Retreat. So it's arias-rainbowretreat.us. Or you can find me as Michelle Bowen Psychic on Facebook or Mystique Theta Healing on Facebook. I have a number of other sites, but they're the easy ones to reach me on. MystiqueThetaHealing.com is down at the moment because I'm reconfiguring it. Okay. And I'm happy for the station to hand out my number if anyone wants to call me. Sure. Yeah, give them that as well. So it's fine. And, um, yeah, I'm sure you got that on Facebook as well. Tell us about briefly the uh, earth thing you're doing and the sustainable things. It's kind of like a gardening hydroponic thing you got going on. Yeah, permaculture is, it's based, it's a patented trademark and um, it, it, it comes from Australia. And uh, permaculture is, as it sounds, it's um, a permanent way of living sustainably on the planet, reducing your footprint as much as possible. And it is about every part of uh, how you set up your system to support every other part of the system. And it's achievable whether you're in an apartment with a balcony garden um, whether you whether you don't have a garden and you're just trying to utilize a better way of of um, reducing your energy usage, uh, it can go as far as setting up a farm and and building naturally and relying upon alternative energy sources, uh, raising your own fish and your own food and harvesting your water and recycling it and you. Every part of your property and how you live contributes to every other part. And it is how people used to understand how to live. Mm -hmm. And I really know that it's very important for people to learn that now because uh, the way our infrastructure is set up is so fragile. It's not self-sustaining. And at some point, it's got to give way and people will need to understand how to support themselves better and not be so reliant on massive infrastructure. And that's what this is about. And as with, I was driven to teach healing. I've been driven to do this for a long time too. Uh, create a source always uh, gives me my best advice, I guess, on uh, the best way to direct what I'm doing and how to help as many people as possible and how to help them in the most efficient way. And this is a way that I can help lots of people. So that's um, that's the vision for what we're doing. And what I'll also be doing with the retreat is teaching people how to resolve these really deep-seated issues and in fast ways, not necessarily relying on the theta healing way or the kinesiology way, but a, a blend I've come to myself so that people can quickly resolve things, understand oh. what's going on, and and have tools that's going to enable them to go, well, yeah, I can get rid of that. It's only as much as a decision to change. And that's that's really, as you know, what it comes down to. You decide to change, you change. Love it. Well said. Yeah. And, you know, people's belief structures, you pointed out early in the show, too, is really ends up hanging people up. But, you know, the more they can hear from people like yourself and Australia and me and just a lot of different healers and people that are intuitives, uh, I believe it just really expands their awareness and their belief structure. So they go, hey, that's possible. And, you know, we've got a much higher probability of creating that change. So. I sure appreciate you being on the show today. Thanks for being with us and calling in. 
we'll have you on. I really sometime appreciate again. being invited. You bet. You bet. Thank you so much, love. Hey, everybody, that's our show for today. I want to thank uh, Michelle Bowen. You've got her address, of course, and email. You can reach her on Facebook as well, and I'll help you in any way I can. And I want to wish everybody that they will have the rest of their life, will be the best of their life, and also to make progress every day. Thank you all. Take care. Have a great week, and happy Mother's Day to everyone. We love you. Bye-bye. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay. I want to show you my first ever painting. Ooh, all right. Okay. Open your eyes. Oh, that's a lot of colors mm -hmm. <laughs> and shapes. So be honest. What do you think? Well, uh, I like how if you switch to Geico, you could save hundreds of dollars on car insurance. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Here, why don't I hold your paintbrush while you call them? Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer.